This time I'm Mike Noble digging. Mike goes out to the Air Force Base to do a loner hunt, or so he thought. Ed Cody showed up unexpectedly and they get a few minutes in together. Hey guys, it has literally been three weeks, three weeks, since I've been able to go out and mail detect. I'm going to go out today. Uh, in fact, today I am going out to uh, the Air Force Base. I haven't been there in uh, quite a while. So uh, we'll see what happens out there. And, uh, it's a fantastic place. It's been hunted heavy, but it's never hunted out. <laughs> so. Hopefully I can find some more good stuff out there. I'm looking for some relics and, and who knows what, maybe some silver coins. So here we go. Well, it's been quite a while since I've been out here. There's the old airfield over there. Uh, it used to be uh, military back in the 40s, 1940s. Uh, but people like to park up here and and watch the planes go in and out. There's still a strong military presence here, but this tree right here, there's usually a car or a vehicle of some sort parked under it. And I just don't feel comfortable get up close to somebody like that, but I'm gonna hunt around there. I found some wheat scents under there already. So I'm gonna hunt around that tree. I'm gonna hunt around that one too. I've actually found a barber quarter under that tree before. So, I'm going to give these uh, two trees a hit, especially. I mean, it's no guarantee I'm going to find anything out here, because uh, this place is pounded. But once in a while, something does come out of here. And sometimes it surprises you. So, we'll see. I got a screaming 90 right there. Uh, sound like it was uh, very close to the surface. I kicked some brush away and it disappeared. I looked over here where I kicked it. Got me a penny. It looks like a copper one. It's not a zinc. Uh, I can't see that. But I'll print the date down below so you can see what it says. Actually, that is a 1982 penny. 82, some were copper and some were zinc. That's the year they started doing the zinc pennies. This one turns out to be a copper. Very cool. I just had a surprise visit. Uh, somebody's going to make a cameo on this uh, video. We got Ed. Oh, hey guys, how you guys doing? Ed uh, hasn't, hasn't made too many appearances here lately on these videos. Uh, he's just telling me he hadn't even done uh, too much uh, on his own channel. His knee's been, I guess, pretty bummed up, so. But uh, he's going to swing for about uh, 20, 30 minutes with me. And hopefully he finds something. I actually hope, if that's all he has to hunt, I actually hope he gets something before I do. So what? I hope you find something before I do. If you only have 20 or 30 minutes. I like to find some silver. Silver would be nice. Yeah. You can leave all the relics for me. That'd be good too. <laughs> <laughs> but if I find a silver, I'm not gonna rebury it. Nah. There you go. All right, well, let's see what we can come up with. Yes, sir, let's all do right. it. All right. Ed's hollering. He said he found himself a little coin spill. Yeah, I've got it silver though. I don't know, that's not a silver coin. It's, it's a dime, though. Yep. And you say, what, quarter? Quarter. Of course, that's a modern, that's a state. And I found uh, two pennies over there. I'm trying to get them out of my pouch. Ah, uh, they're in there somewhere. Well, you're getting a little richer. Yep. Let's call that over. I think I got a. 
collar disc or badge or something. Right, actually, right there it's threaded. And this looks like it might. Maybe that was the part of a hat badge. Let's break this off. See what we can come up with. Oh, that's not going to break off easy. Maybe that's nothing. I don't know. Alright, well, I'm going to scrub this up a little bit. Get a brush to it and see what we got. We may just have a piece of hardware. Bye, Ed. Huh? Bye. He lost interest. Well, this... no, it was a good false alarm, though. <laughs> it was a possibility. Yeah, it turned out to be a, a screw through a couple washers, and yeah. I thought it was a badge. I got a little too excited about that one. Gotta oh, go. Yeah. We didn't get much time in with the old lad here, but he did find that little corn stuff. Yeah, that was nice. I gotta go back so. to work, take the kids home. And, uh, hey, look, do me a favor. If you see the yellow bus, stop for the stop sign. Don't run them, because you might run over somebody's kid. Thanks. Bus driver. <laughs> he looks out for those kids. He loves those kids. Actually, I do. This has been the best year yet. Has it? Yes, it has. I actually love my job. Oh, very good. Well, it's good to see you again, Me Ed. too. I appreciate it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I am so sorry. See? Are you okay? Man, that is light. XP Davis is a light machine. Thank you for talking me into coming out. Don't step back. Let me get your headphones for you. Oh, yes. Okay. You don't want to step on those. All right. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Mike. You have a good day. You too. I appreciate your help. It feels good to be back out. It, is, it does. It's been longer for him than me, but uh, yep. yeah. Hey, uh, there's a spider in the tree over there. He's pretty big, man. A spider? Yeah, he about swallowed my head. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. You have a good day. I may have a weedy here. Uh, haven't touched it yet. Just a weedy, I know. But uh, check it out. Right here. Yeah, I believe that's a weedy. One cent right there. Have to see if I can get a date off of that. That looks like a 1953, 52 D. Even through the camera I can't see it and it looks like it's pretty clear. My eyes, I guess. Weedy number two. I don't know what the date is. It looks like it really wore with that green. It's probably an older one. But as you can see there on the back, that is weedy. I have to get a date to you if possible. Yeah, it's a war, war weedy. 1917, I believe. Yeah, let me put you on macro. It might be a 1917 Focus. 1917, maybe a S or a D on there. Now, I'll have to put what it is down below, so you'll see, you should see it. Cool. It's over 100 years old. Well, that is a mystery item to me. It's got some weight to it, but I don't necessarily think it's silver. I know it's not aluminum. In the ground, that rang up 93. I waved it under my coil out of the ground, and it rings up 85. I uh, went back over the hole, and it was the only thing in there, so I'll have to see if I can do a test on that. It might be silver. I, I don't know. Interesting. So what is that? I'm over here at this second tree. Uh, I actually found a barber quarter right over there uh, some time ago. I just dug a shotgun head stamp. Now, this could be military. 
because uh, this was a military base at one point or it could be from a uh, homestead we know there were some uh, homes around here so who knows so as a curiosity it's interesting This is one spooky house. I was scared. To, I was scared to come up these steps. But uh, we're going to actually. Tracy's got a, a test, and he's going to test that piece that might be silver right there. Whatever that is. I don't know. I kind of have my doubts, but we're going to put that doubt uh, to rest one way or another. So what's the process of that? This if that disappears? This on it, and if it turns a red color. If it turns a red color? Yeah. Okay. The silver. The silver? Yep. All right, well that is silver. Just don't get that on your skin. Okay. Because you don't want, eat your skin right off. I don't want to die. Well, cool. I think that's cool. I, I have no idea what this is then. What is that? What could it be that was silver? That's crazy. Thank you, Tracy. And now we know. Well, guys, that's it. That's our video. And there really wasn't too much to it today. Uh, I hope I made it enjoyable all the same. We got to run into Ed again. It's been a long time since you see him on this channel. Uh, and he found like, a little coin spill, which is pretty cool. Uh, best things I found were a couple of wheat scents, which I imagine were dropped by the soldiers while they were here. Um, always like something that points back to them. I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I know it was nothing spectacular today. I just hope it was enjoyable for you. So until next time, We'll catch you later. Bye. If you enjoy this channel, why not check out the Might Noble Digging store? Click on the link down below in the description and you can see shirts, coffee mugs, even face masks you can wear out in public. So take a look. It costs nothing to browse. I hope you enjoy.